to see you scrap scar turrets. Uh, a development team behind the scenes working on stuff and in the next coming weeks we'll be able to show you more and more of those folks they'll kind of guest guest star on the stream and uh and we'll go from there man i was trying to maneuver to wave at you on screen and you keep moving sorry sorry dude all right <laughs> so i'm just gonna flex instead and then do my little little thing um so ben last night we were, we were going through this we were talking about it so our our wonderful pr and marketing uh partners they had some feedback for us about how to make this stream more um, entertaining. So, what they told me, first of all, they told me not to wear a white shirt. So, <laughs> I was going to say, awesome. step one, fail. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> fail, fail on purpose. Step two, they told me to smile more. Um, so, so I think uh, both uh, of us, we really need to smile a lot more during the live stream, and then I'm everyone a very like nice it. I'm a smiling person naturally, Mike. So that won't be a problem for me. But you, <laughs> you work. Yes, I'll take my cynicism and I'll park it. Okay. So what we got here, we are in free play. So free play is a mode that you can select from the forge. Uh, allows you to, as it says, you might be surprised, play free. Um, I'm the storm here in my cool customized storm, and I am playing as the interceptor. And in fact, I decided, given all the community feedback, that I would kit myself out with a melee build today. So as we go through and fight some things, we can talk a little bit about uh, what that means in the context of Anthem. Um, but we should probably jump off and fly, don't you yes, think? Yes, we will fly somewhere. Right. We're going to probably hit some world events. I'm off. <laughs> all right. So hey, remember yesterday when we were like, hey, Ben, you should go first because then we can show both on screen at the same time. Yeah. But you were like, hey, but you have to memorize where to go. And yeah. I was like, to I'll totally do that. Like, I don't remember <laughs> where, we, where okay. we were meant to go. So in that case, so. stop. <laughs> Just actually, wait. Kind of, oh, actually, let's go here, go here, go here. Go. Wait, wait, trust, wait. Trust, what are you trust. doing? Okay. Oh, shit. Grab it. <laughs> One down. <laughs> no heart. Uh, Notice I'm not shooting. Did the rest of them just leave? Yeah, that's right. Why oh. would they stay around? They don't, they're not weaponized. So I actually kind of do remember where to go, but why don't you lead off here? Because I was going to mention one of the things I love about free play is that you know every time you come out into the world, you have a really unique and different experience. So the way all the creatures spawn and the different events that can spawn, uh, it makes exploration really exciting because every time you go out, it's slightly different. So I'm tailing you right now. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Just trying to maneuver the shaper relics that I see here. Underneath, you see my my cooldown bar kind of flat, flat line there. Uh, oh, the Alchemist have sent out a request for some help. Are you gonna go the whole way underwater here? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm seeing uh, a world event up here. Arcanists have uh, have requested some help. So world events are dynamic. Depends on where you are in the world. There should be an arcane vault around here. Let's check it out. And they spawn different things. Oh, search for an arcane vault. All right, so this is helping out the Arcanist faction a little bit. Yeah, I took the scenic route. I'm a little behind, but I'll catch up. No worries. Should, open. Hmm. should we open the bar? Oh, yeah, let's open. Yeah, let's do it. The shooting points should be around here. Find those, and I'll start matching the frequencies. All right. So do you want to talk a little bit? You're in the storm. We were trying to show off abilities and gear that players hadn't seen shooting before. We can start do you want to talk about what you have equipped? Yeah, the so I... Oh, okay. I triggered the scar attack, so let's just... Oh, there's a scar. Oh, do we have both now? Scar okay. drill, yeah. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to dive in there, okay? Can you just cover me from behind? I will do that indeed. So I'm going to use my lightning ball, which kind of bounces around, and I'll try and crowd control a little bit. I'm hitting... Buddy. I'm going to get some altitude. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I got to back out a little bit here, but let me know when you're set up. I'm set up. Hitting okay. you from the top. 
I'm gonna, so my third gear piece can debuff this big heavy here, so he takes bonus damage, so I'm gonna do that. You oh. can see the beam oh. slide on him. No. <laughs> did you, did you die? No, 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 or not yet. I have to run away. This is crazy. Oh, oh. They, oh we're about to lose the um, first event. Yeah. Oh. Should we try again? Oh. Uh, I'm on, yeah, I'm on fire, so I can't fly. Hey, what difficulty did we put this on, friends in PR and marketing? <laughs> Are we getting trolled right now? Oh, we are. We're getting trolled in front of thousands of people. So this is actually um, freelancer difficulty, which is apparently the middle of the uh, of the introductory difficulties. Yeah, no, this should be good. This is the middle one. I think what we did is we triggered two events. That's fine. So why yeah. don't we just go this way and then just do it one piece at a time? Yeah, we ain't running. So okay. So I'm yep. gonna get this these scars here. Just gonna reload. I'm gonna charge in now. Okay. So the thing about the storm here is, is my natural play style is to hover as much as possible and provide some, uh, some remote support from the air. Of course, without a shield, I can't hover as long, so I have to recharge my shield, make sure I'm going up and down. Hey, so th this group of Scar on the right, I think it's a good chance to use your ult if you can, and yeah. then I'll clean up whatever you miss. Yeah, I'm gonna just get a little bit of altitude. All right, gonna pop my ult yeah, here. Good. I'm gonna come up as well. Just let me know when you go. All right, gonna bring it okay. all down now. I'm diving in, going in. Nice, nice, nice. All right, take out that heavy. He's right beside you. Yep. Uh... And then... All right. So once we get these guys down, let me show off a little bit about this Interceptor build. If we get it, uh, if we ever get a break. Yeah, we're nearly there. Okay, I'm gonna get this flyer. This guy hunter, rather. Oh, God, I children. got a, I got oh, a cross I'm about effect. to go down. Oh, yeah. I okay, I'm, I'm backing off. Duck out for a little bit here. Backing off. So the Enforcer has to go down, like... And so I got yeah. aggro on him. Okay, I'm coming. I just gotta get this hunter out of the way, so I stop getting destroyed. So I'm gonna throw down a wind wall to protect me. Yep. Okay, I'm flying over. Uh, I'm just gonna ult here as well, actually, to take the rest of them out. Okay, and then I'll showcase the ult later with, with the stream folks. Yep. Alright, so I'm on the heavy now. Alright, good. Nice, my, nice. My ultimate lets me become invulnerable for a brief amount of time, which is great and then does a lot of melee damage to everything I can hit. So that was a nice little cleanup. Okay, come help out. Wait for me, coach. <laughs> okay, so that fly has a problem as well. So I'll try and show off the melee build a little bit here. So I can dash to him. Well, let's get the snipe. I can dash in and then use like a lightning kick, basically, as a one-two combo into melee. There we go, down. All right, nice work. Nice. I got him with a lightning, lightning ball. Okay. It's on the ground, finished him off. All right, perfect. Okay, we got a couple Ooh. more stragglers. Okay. Yep. So what? Um, I don't remember what weapons you chose to equip. Um. Do you know what you have? I have. Let's see. Actually, I have more of a. Uh, uh, it's not a DMR. Oh, you but have it a is, precision rifle? Yeah, it is a precision yeah. rifle. Yeah, I'm using the same. So kind of my makeup is precision rifles, so I can pick off any high value targets I want. And then I'm using like a, it's kind of like a double barrel shotgun merged with a, a auto shotgun. So it has two shots up front okay. to kind of pair with my melee build. So I'm going to try staying close as much as possible. So I have an idea for this world event. So. Because this is timed, yep. so we, when we open the world event, we, we're timed, and I have to, to get the fragments back within a certain amount of time. So you focus on the spawns. I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna just go after them and try and complete the world event to get uh, get the XP. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds right. good. And then if I get in trouble, I'll just call. You have to come and help out. Okay. All right. Going for them. Okay. There's still a bunch of scars here. That's okay though. We should be fine. All right. The shooting points matching the frequency. I need five more. And like we said, is shooting points. Matching the frequency. This world event is random, 
So we could have never planned this one. Shooting points. We can start. <laughs> we certainly points. didn't plan. Also, also, Owen, who our our cipher is, needs to say a different line. There it is. It's shooting. <laughs> Matching the frequency. All right, good. Shut up, Owen. Okay, you got him. All right, got it. I got to return to the co to the vault. Yeah, I still got all these scars. To work. Stay close. Okay. Okay, dude, you, you gotta. You might have to help me out. I have to do a, an annex here. So this part of the okay. world event is I have to hold this area down. I'll, I'll do it for we this guy. We have to hold this area down. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not seeing you very. Oh, never mind. There you are. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna use the the rifle so I can stick back and help you with it as well. Okay, thanks, dude. If you have a wind wall, that would be super helpful. All right, where do you where do you want it? Right. Uh, front, just facing the spawn point. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. So we got showed it. off the That's storm like ultimate early. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Get loot. Oh, there's some happy. loots. Let's finish off these. Yeah. Uh, scar. Um, we showed off the storm ultimate a little early. We didn't really talk about what it does though. So, do you want me to explain it, or do you want to? Yeah. So once it? once I pop it, Full speed too. talk about it. Oh, nice. We did it. Awesome. They're running away. I think now. Yep. Perfect. That was tougher than I thought it'd be. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's see. Oh, let's go down. Let's go through here. Yep. Um, what's about? Oh yeah, so storm ultimate. So storm ultimate's really cool. You activate a mode, and then you can drop three big area abilities. You drop a a fire one, an ice one, and a lightning one. And then the fourth time you push trigger, it'll drop a meteor on top of all three of them. So it's a really good way to take out a large group of mobs and, and get a lot of crowd control going. And so you saw Mike do it in that first scenario where we were a little overwhelmed. He kind of got rid of all the low level guys and then we could focus down the, the big scar at the end. Yeah, it's super helpful for crowd control. Um, oh, let's try going down here. Arden's Road. Yep, I will follow. I'm gonna go into this crevice here. I am actually my heat's pretty good yeah I'll skim the water as well should be fine so, so one of the kind of advanced tactics of traversal is working out how to use cooling things like water to extend your flight duration whether they're waterfalls or skimming the surface of a, a lake or a, or a river or whatever um, or actually going underwater and as we're as we're kind of flying through, um, question from Twitch: uh, Other than traversing towards waypoints, is flight useful for situations like combat and support roles? Uh, absolutely. So, right now I'm actually playing a support role. You see, you see Ben on the ground, fighting in his quick ninja-like way. I'm right. staying so above, trying to provide area of effect here, support somewhere. It's yeah, and I use it especially on uh, close quarter characters you know you've got to reposition a lot in those combats and you couldn't okay, really see my screen but um, a lot of the time i'm flying around to flank people or get behind them even if it's just for short bursts it's uh, really useful yeah so we hit another world event here um a shaper relic has gone terminal so we need to gather the fragments with it um crappy thing about some of these relics is the longer you leave them the more they're likely to Grow and explode. You basically have to keep them in check by attacking them. Um, so let's see who's let's see who's bummed. Do we need to find the echoes here as well? Yep, yep. So so on my um, on my compass, there's a bit of a a radar type thing in there. That's what we're looking to follow. So one says it's above and over here. Oh, up, up, there it is. One in the sky. Yeah, I'll keep Which shooting the relic, hey? Yep. All right, so I've got three echoes. I'll go and deliver. Oh, and I crashed into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's All right, three down, sense. five to go. But that means I think that they're going to be onto us. Yeah, a bunch of creatures just spawned to the uh, west. Oh, the Dominion. Okay, these guys are super tough, man. <laughs> yep, so I'll just try to hold them off for a bit, but okay. I'm probably going to need some help. Okay. 
I gotta get my shield back. Uh, we've got some creatures as well, some wolves. Oh, I'm instantly half dead. Okay, that is unfortunate. Okay, do you need me to provide some air support? Uh, yes. Please. All right. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a Dominion Valkyrie over there. AKA okay. a Dominion Storm. So yeah, so I the Valkyries have access to storm suits and they're super powerful. So you gotta break their shields, knock them out of the sky, and then take them down. So we can either take out all the smaller ones first and then get her last, or try to get the Valkyrie first. I'm just trying to clear out the area. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting shot at. I had to launch a, num a number of meteors or something. <laughs> nice debug text there. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, in this build that ultimate isn't finished. Uh, in a later build it is. Uh, um, where do you see the Valkyrie? I've lost sight. Uh, he went around the... Oh, he's out here. Um, around kind of the little church area. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm going to okay. try to blink in and break the shield, and then let's let's take the Valkyrie down first. Okay. I'm going to go grab one more of these, um, uh, okay. these wisps. I got frozen. E echoes, rather. That's fine. Okay. Her shield's almost down. If I knock her out of the sky, we can at least get a little reprieve from the frost attacks. Yeah. Right, and I'll just retreat a little bit. And then oh. let me know when you come back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, but I'm I'm getting shot at. Storm does okay, not I'll supposed to live you. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we can just clear a path to her. Or do you yeah, let's just clear a path in. Okay. Oh, my shields are down. I think we're gonna have to just go nuke the Valkyrie first. Actually, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. I will follow right, you. My shields are back up, so <laughs> not mine. Let me just get so get I'm back. On fire, so I can't fly. Okay, but I see her. You see her, right? Yeah. I have to run away just very briefly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Hi, everyone. Just looking at the world. Almost dead. There we go. Okay. How you doing back there, Ben? You okay? Living the dream? Uh, negative. All right, I'll come back. <laughs> but let's let, let, let's get in there. I, I'm I'm actually good now. I'm good now. We just got to knock her out of the sky. That's priority one. Yeah. What's actually hurting me is the shaper relic that continues to go terminal. And then of course there's a brute on the horizon. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm just going in now for the. Okay, right behind you. Uh, she retreated all the way back here. Yeah. And now the brutes are in. Gee golly, I wish I sure had two more friends. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. Um, okay, that's okay though. If you can keep them busy, I'm gonna try and take a run at the echoes. Yep. Okay. That's fine. But I might go down. Brutes are relentless. Yeah, the brutes are freezing me. So they have an ice attack, and if you don't dodge it at the right time, you'll get frozen. Yeah. Um, but you can break out of being frozen by pushing A. Uh, all the people on Twitch are probably like, <laughs> "The developers suck, man." <laughs> we are doing great. Yeah, we're doing great. We just okay, keep I on got telling this ourselves Valkyrie that. Valkyrie down now. I'm gonna come back and help you. All right. There's one echo. Okay, I got one again. It yeah, was... I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get the brutes here. Okay, good. Yeah, man. Calls them I'm just using my ultimate here and just shut this out. Okay, I'll help you out with the... Nope, no, I won't. Went Ooh, down. At least do a, a classic camera pan so everyone can see my awesomeness right now. Oh, yeah. I'm totally... That's totally my number one thing. I got a response? Oh! All right. I'm terminal. I'm, I'm down. Okay. There's a brute right in front of me, but I did I did uh, deliver one more echo, so... Okay, I'm coming for you. What? Oh, there's a brute right there, dude. Yeah, but we'll see. One... All for one and one for... Oh, oh no. If we party wipe. Um, I hit a super fun bug, but because no one can see it, I'm not going to even say what's happening to me right now. But I will be right back. All right, so I respond. Yeah, I'm going to respond. I actually found a cool bug where I fell through the world. <laughs> As I was reviving you. Oh, so, that doesn't help. Um, That's why you failed? That's why you failed me, yeah, pal? Yeah, I'm taking a little time out here, and I will be right back. All right. So... In the meantime, I'm going to take on the forces of the Dominion by myself. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got knocked out of the sky big time. So one of the things about the storm 
Um, when you're hovering, and if your shield goes down in a way that, that you guys just saw, uh, I, I will crater. So part of my strength is to make sure that I'm maximizing and keeping my shields alive. Because that's the key to me winning. Right, there's another brood up here. I think we can, if we clear the stairway, we should be pretty good. Oh, there's a lot of frost hounds there too, though. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Do you want me to, to pop my ult? Yes, please. On the stairs? Yeah, I would. I would. Okay. Because I can combo all All right. The oh, yeah, they're all there. Attacks. Yeah. There you go. I should be able to get an aura here. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Nice. Yeah. So the int the interceptor has a special ability where if you combo with your melee attacks and and uh, kill an enemy, you get an aura that inherits the status effect. So like a fire aura or a frost aura. Yeah. So I can run around and apply that aura to all the people around it. So it really incentivizes that high mobility. Okay. I'm gonna go search for a couple more wisps while you. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I found some. I like that we've like identified our roles is I like to kill all the things and you like to be smart and play objectives. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, yeah, we, but but then at the same time, burden. who's the one who's died already? It's it's me, so maybe maybe the smart play isn't the best. I'm about to die right now. Yeah, Alright, no. one more one more you, wish. You gotta pick me up there. Oh, oh you gotta risk everything. Alright. See if you can put a wind wall at my body and then get me up. Alright. Should be able to. Okay. Unless Good. you fly off the world and... No, no, no. I'm just taking the... Oh, you're flanking. I see. Taking the easy way. <laughs> Alright, just letting my... Letting my shield... Thing. I'm about to run out of time oh, here. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Leave no dragon behind. Yeah. Alright, wind walled up. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. It's really good. All right, you're up. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go get one more echo and let's finish this damn thing. Yep. I actually have my ult up again, so I'm just gonna use that and take up this brute. Oh, I didn't in time. Nice, done. See, one of the things I kept on screwing up is every single time I would go to an echo. Looks like it was silenced. Excellent would you fly? I, I, Sorry, would, I would run right into the... Uh, into the um, uh, exploding relic, and it would take me out. So there's still two brutes here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go down again. Oh, I uh, didn't see that. The other guy was behind the wall. Oh, he yeah. jumped up. I um, might be able to get you. Yeah, you'll get me. Then I'll go straight into my alt. Hopefully, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ultimate's up. <laughs> You've got them on the run. Fine work, my friend. Okay, nice. They're out. Thanks, Owen. They're out of here. So Owen is our shared cipher. People don't know. We both have Owen as a cipher. Yep. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, he's generally a nice guy. He has, he has some issues. You know what's but... funny? There are all these explosive barrels that we didn't take advantage of in, the, <laughs> in this whole arena. Yeah. It's unfortunate. All right. All right. So, man, that was really fun. Yeah. Uh, but is there anything we didn't talk about? We were just kind of chatting. I don't know if we missed anything. So we talked about the storm ultimate. We talked about your interceptor ultimate. A little bit about customization. See my cool decal on it. Um, what else? Oh, we talked about world events there, a little bit. There were questions about the melee build. Um, just to clarify what that means, like I have two gear pieces equipped that I can use uh, in close range that use like my fists and legs. Uh, and I combine that with my melee attack and things like a shotgun to build like a really close range uh, build so I can dash in and then do some cool stuff. Yeah. I think I said parts of that, but we got distracted. Um, let's let's fly around just a little bit more and, and take some questions as we kind of go. So I don't know if we actually answered it properly. Um, flight is used for traversal, but it's also used for gathering different vantage points. Hover is a major, uh, majorly important thing for many of the of the javelin classes. Storm hover is critical, um, and of course it's built into the design of the the javelin where you can hover for longer. Yep. And then even the other suits, it's really great because you can just get a better positioning. You can observe the battlefield. You can use uh, your gear from hover as well. So lots of tactical advantages. But eventually you do overheat and then you crater like I'm doing right now. Yeah, you have to be careful. But yeah. I think that's the risk reward system to it, which is great. There's a lot of different things to pay attention to. So I think for new players, it's really easy to pick up and have fun. But then also for advanced players, you've got a lot of things to learn and master. Yeah. Uh 
And in terms of my ultimate, uh, the Storm's ultimate rather, we have, like we talked about, I'll just show it right here for everyone. So it gives me the opportunity to place three separate spheres. And then once those have been placed and primed, I basically hit right trigger to activate it and finish it off. It brings down the meteors or something. <laughs> and yeah, the IP version of Meteor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and of course there's crafting material throughout the world, and there are wildlife to hunt, and uh, and then of course underwater caves to explore and different yeah. So I'm sure we probably have tons of questions as well from the stream. Do we have any that we could read out? Hey, hey guys, this is AJ. I'm going to read out some questions that we've pulled from the chat hey. and uh, Twitter today. Um, this one from uh, comes from... Lion Chris on Twitch, he asks, is the game okay to play on the controller? I assume he means a console controller, and as you can see right there, my Campbell is playing on a controller, but it will have keyboard and mouse support as well. Um, ben, you guys have yeah, done a lot of tuning super, and stuff to all that. Fun. I mean, we spent a lot of time on controls. I think one of the really interesting parts of the game is we have more buttons than many games. If you think about it, we have uh, gear piece one, two, and three. We have flight, we have hover, we have sprint, we have dash, or the, the dash equivalent for each suit. Uh, jump, double jump, melee, reload, swap weapon, emotes, um, aim down sight, or, or tight aim rather, and sh fire, shoot. So between all of that, it's been really challenging to come up with a really great control scheme that allows for all of those uh, combinations to work in a way that is really fun to play. Um, you know, we've been doing a bunch of feedback testing and one of the universal things that comes back is that the controls now feel really good. They certainly didn't, <laughs> you know, nine months ago. Um, but now we're at a point where I think it feels really great on a controller. Um, I think PC players are used to having more preferences. And so one of the things we've made sure to add is the ability to remap key bindings. So for PC players, you can basically set up whichever kind of way you want. We've set a default layout that we think will be a good way to pick the game up. Um, so I think, yeah, for both controller and PC controls, we feel really happy with it now. Um, I think until you play it, it's hard. Like people say stuff like, why don't you swap melee and reload or whatever? Um, and I think it's really hard to, to talk about it until people get to play it. And so uh, once people do that, um, they seem to give really positive feedback. Um, but it's also stuff we can iterate over time if we need to make more changes. So overall, pretty good. Okay, this one comes from Tokyo Adam Knight on Twitch. Uh, he asks, what kind of aerial trickery can you perform for air superiority purposes? Well, there's always the, the good old reliable dodge. So everyone has a slightly different dodge. Uh, I'm showing you the storms right here. Storm's all about blink and teleport, so that allows you to kind of dodge incoming fire. Um, we also have the ability to do an, uh, a striking air melee. So as you're kind of blowing in, you have the ability at any given point in time to attack the ground. Do that. A um, number of other ones. And of course, every, every javelin has slightly different versions of that. Oh, we finished a world event. How we did that? Anything else I was to just add there? Being effective. Yeah, yeah, effective at world events. <laughs> um, yeah, and of course the combination of flight versus hover versus melee versus dodge um, really adds dynamism into that. So there you go to show that. Ben, you aren't able to see my screen, but I just did a combination. I imagine you're doing amazing things. It was, it was <laughs> wicked. Um, flying and then into hover. Dropping down for a lower vantage point, hovering again, flying. So you have a lot of a lot of usage of these tools and bringing them together. Pretty badass. Yeah, okay. One of my favorites is the uh, I'm in trouble. I do a spiral flight up into the sky and then drop a melee uh, air melee down is a cool thing to do. Yeah. Oops. This next question comes from Gek196 on Twitch. How many actual gear slots will will there be? Yeah, I can feel that one. So each suit has three specific gear slots. So uh, on a Xbox controller, just to make it easier for myself to explain, you have a left bumper, a right bumper, and then left and right together. Um, so typically um, the way it works for each suit is you'll have about at launch five on left bumper, five on right bumper. So five different gameplay choices. 
um, and then two on the left and right bumper. Um, so left and right are typically like offensive abilities for the most part. Um, it's not always true. Sometimes it's crowd control. Uh, and then the left and right bumper together are kind of things for utility or support. So you heard Mike call out a bunch about using wind wall, which was a, a wind wall that would block projectiles. So it was like a, a barrier we could take cover behind. It's right here. Um, my one is that I have equipped right now is a debuff. So on large targets, I can make them take uh, an extra 25% damage. Um, so again, it doesn't have to be defensive utility. Mine's offensive utility and, and Mike's got defensive utility. Um, so that's gear specifically, and then there are two weapon slots that you can equip. Um, there's a couple of small restrictions for, for a couple of the suits, but generally you can put whatever weapon in whatever slot. Um, and then you have your melee ability, which isn't a thing you can change, and you have your ultimate ability, which also isn't a thing you can change. So that's kind of all the, the things you have in your toolkit, um, as well as stuff like jump, double jump, dash, double dash, depending on uh, the class you have, the javelin you have. But one thing I forgot to mention at the very beginning. So on my screen, you're seeing little red uh, red squares. So that's actually an, a bug, an issue. Those icons just aren't showing up. Again, work in progress code. Uh, those normally would have an icon. And I, I continue to show this, but it didn't really show up well in combat because there's a lot going on. This lightning ball that I have here actually <laughs> bounces. And if you're super good, you can make it hit multiple enemies in one shot and look awesome, unlike what I just... <laughs> uh, what else we got, AJ? Yes, sir. So this one comes from a very, a very cool username, Zedekiah the Metasage on Twitch. Ooh. And uh, they say, wait, so you can customize your Javelin's look? Uh, notice we've got some new looks on these javelins today you guys want to go into some detail on some of that stuff yeah so so you guys set you me up land so i can stand next to you so we can see both but the storm does not land the storm hovers <laughs> all right fine i'll i'll, storm, I'll crash storm not land. um storm lands for no man you can, you can customize a number of different areas first of all i want to point out my extremely tacky that aj from the community team gave me but it's not tacky it's just a matter of taste not something that I would wear normally in the street. <laughs> <laughs> but look how well it's flowing. Yes. Isn't it flowing gloriously? Oh, is it flowing ever? That's a little Paris Games Week humor for y'all. You don't know what we're talking about. Um, you can you can basically customize with decals. Ben, do you want to kind of walk through the things that I'm I'm showing you in front of you on on me and where those things are? Yeah. So um, what we'll probably do is we'll host a stream to go into all the details of how this works. Um, but just at a super high level, the idea is that um, power and vanity are separate things. So power is all about the gear and weapons I talked about a couple minutes ago. Um, and then the vanity or the customization or personalization stuff is about how you look. So you can see here um, some of the choices Mike has. First of all, is affects the silhouette. So the helmet, the shoulders, the chest, that kind of stuff. And how does that look? Laid on top of that, he's got a vinyl, um, which is a way to have a pattern that, that covers the suit. Uh, and then beyond that, you can pick specific colors and material types um, to to customize the javelin further. So there's really a lot of cool choices to pick from. Um, and like I said, I think we have to work out when, but but you know, over the next little period of time, uh, we'll do a stream that kind of walks through that so we can explain it in a bit more detail. Yep. Did I miss anything, Mike? Was no, that, that no, sound about right? Apparently, they just told me that, that mine's supposed to look like a P51 Mustang. So... Oh, okay. All right, so I'll take that for the six people who really care. I oh, love P51 <laughs> Mustangs. That was just my personal choice. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Thanks. That's uh, right. It's all about personal choice. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's no right or wrong answer. So this one comes from Kaladanen on Twitch, and they want to know how you heal. They may not have been tracking how you guys were doing that during the stream. Uh, okay, so when any when any Exo or Javelin takes enough damage, they'll go down into a down state. And when you're in a down state, there's obviously a timer, and any of your friends' javelins can come in and can repair you, basically, and that, that you have to hold the button in order to do so. Um, and after a certain amount of time, you can choose to respawn outside of the combat area. Obviously, you're not helping your friends as much. But there's benefits to coming in and repairing. There's benefits to gameplay that uh, are granted when you come in and repair. I don't know if we're ready to talk about that stuff yet, but 
yeah, that's generally the, the way the mechanic works. Yeah, and then kind of on top of that, because that was a great answer, is um, there's also ways to replenish health as you fight. So creatures will drop um, red uh, health goblets uh, in the world that you can pick up. And so javelins have both shield and, and health. So um, shield will replenish uh, over time or by doing specific things specific to the javelin. Um, but your health, you have to pick up the health globes by killing creatures. So it kind of encourages you to, to keep pushing forward in the combat to, to, to be super heroic in nature. And um, that's how that works. To kind of clear a few things up, like there aren't specific gear pieces that do healing. That's not a thing we have in the game. Uh, the idea is that, like right here, we killed something. Oh, is it on? Is it I just was, my one? I was slowly, slowly killing him, but then you came in and just stole it all. So. <laughs> okay, so I think, yeah, so I got a health glow, but you didn't. Um, but yep. basically, that's how you can re replenish health as you play the game. Okay, in addition this, to reviving people. This one comes from White Thing 315 Will there be loadouts you can build for each javelin that will make them either more offensive, defensive, to kind of fill a gap you don't have a certain javelin, uh, or fill a gap for a certain javelin in your group? Yeah, for sure. So, um, uh, kind of the <laughs> idea of the game is that you can, you pick like a play style you like with the javelin, but then within that, you can pick a lot of different options. So again, like I went for a melee interceptor build, which was really all about close quarter combat. Uh, I have to move in fast, take out targets, move back fast. Um, uh, but I could play uh, a long range interceptor, so I could take different gear pieces. So all of mine right now really center around getting in close, but I have other things like a, um, an ability which I can paint a couple of targets and stun them or freeze them from range. Um, so that's a bit more support because I can uh, do some control and sit back with a uh, with a rifle and shoot from range and kind of control the the play field so my friends can can do damage. Um, same deal like with the Colossus, you know, you can play uh, up close and personal with a shield and a flame thrower, and you're trying to kind of get in between your friends uh, and the enemies to soak up as much damage as possible. Or you can play back long range with a mortar. Um, you know, so there's definitely lots of flexibility there. Uh, same with the support choices. You know, I picked the damage buff support choice for my third gear slot, but I could have picked a different one, um, which would remove status effects from my friends. So if someone got frozen, I could push it and it would clear that, that free status effect. And that's more of a support uh, option. So there's definitely lots of options. Like I said, there's roughly 12-ish um, pieces that affect gameplay per suit, and how you put those combinations together is kind of up to you. I found a chest, Ben. I found a chest. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's take let's take two more questions, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Okay, this one comes from Savage Frog Demon on Twitch, and they say the game looks tough without four players. Do you guys want to talk about uh, how that works? Yeah. So, uh, so we are on a difficulty. Um, that is not easy. This is a this a, a pretty challenging difficulty. A couple things to be aware of. I don't actually know if our javelins are appropriately leveled to the type of world events that we're hitting. Um, and also, of course, our gear and weapon selections are not necessarily personalized to our own playstyles, so it looks challenging, more challenging than it is. That said, we do have difficulty scaling based on number of players. So four players, three players, uh, two players, and one player will have different gameplay experiences. And of course, as a solo player, um, you have the ability to play the game at your pace. It's still going to be challenging, and there's no doubt about it, just like it is for us now, but um, it is still doable. Anything for side Ben to add? No, that, that's great. The only thing I would say is that we want to encourage larger group numbers. like. You know, you inherently get benefits through the utility, the, the different options, the um, status effects each extra team member can make. So it is going to be a, a, I think, a more fun play experience to play with four players, and that's what we want the game to be about. Um, but we are doing all the things Mike said, so that if you really don't want to play with four players, you can still play the game and have a lot of fun. Yeah. One more question. All right. Uh, it's tough to pick a last one, but we'll go with uh, one more and then... Maybe you guys can answer some on Twitter as well later today. But uh, yep. this is from Tarkus on Twitch. They ask, what loot is there 
other than weapons, is there any armor, cosmetics, trinkets? Yeah, so there is all the loot. Um, I think it's really hard to explain it without doing the stream where we talk about all the personalization options because yeah. a lot of the things I'll say, they won't make sense. So I think that's a great question for us to answer in detail later. The short answer is, yes, there's a bunch of power things that you can unlock in the game or get through loot, like all the gear and weapons we've been talking about. Uh, in addition, there are other ways to earn rewards uh, that affect your appearance, um, which you can get both through uh, playing the game, uh, through monetization options, uh, through unlocking difficult challenges. So I think we can cover that in more detail later, but the short answer is yes, and those are the ways to do it. Yeah. So to kind of to kind of wrap us up, obviously Ben alluded to this, there's going to be more streams to cover more in-depth things. We just barely scraped scrape the surface here with a little bit of free play and a little bit of the map. We've got tons of missions, a full story campaign, tons of side missions, Fort Tarsus. The game is pretty massive, so uh, we'll have a lot of content to cover between now and ship. Um, and of course, we wanted to thank you for tuning in and being awesome fans and wanting to support more the game. Follow at Anthem Game on Twitter. Follow at Ben Ervo on Twitter for Ben and follow at Gamble Mike on Twitter for myself. And we constantly answer questions. And now that we did this, we'll be able to answer a little bit more. And, and we look forward to just hanging out with you guys and talking on a fairly normal cadence. Yep. We are so excited to share more information. We know you all have been uh, desperate to hear more and, and now is the time for it all to start coming out. So we're really excited. Um, and thank you, like Mike said, for being such a great community. It's, it's really fun to interact with this community. So we're all really excited to be able to share what's going on. Cool. And then we'll come on whenever we do next, which will probably be fairly soon. And then we'll, and then we'll smile more and we'll play more <laughs> and everyone will. That stream was full of smiles. I know. I know. It was fun. Thanks, Ben. You're awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. It's good to hang out and play with you today, man. All right.